This is BBC Two Northern Ireland, where programmes will continue in just a minute, unless you're watching on analogue television, that is. Yes, Northern Ireland's digital switchover starts here. Shortly, we'll be turning off this analogue channel forever and overnight turning on some of the new high-par freeview transmitters. This will mean that there'll be disruption to all BBC services on freeview through the night. Analogue BBC One Northern Ireland will also be off air in some areas. All remaining analogue television will cease transmission in two weeks' time. If you or someone you know needs help or advice in switching to digital or with retuning, you can contact Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50 from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Or you can visit the website at digitaluk.co.uk. So now, analogue viewers should switch to their digital services to continue watching BBC Two Northern Ireland. If you're viewing on cable or satellite, you don't need to do anything. However, if you're watching on Freeview, you may need to retune your equipment tomorrow and again when digital switchover completes on the 24th of this month. After 48 and a half years, this is where BBC Two says goodbye to analogue television. Digital BBC Two Northern Ireland and there's plenty to sing about in half an hour with Gareth Malone and the choir. But who was hitting the right note today at the Conservative Party conference? Let's find out now from James Landale. Good evening and welcome back to Birmingham for more highlights from the Conservative Party conference. After being mobbed on arrival last night, Boris Johnson took centre stage in the Symphony Hall today, careful to support the Prime Minister but characteristically happy to please the crowds. <laughs> Elsewhere, some of the Cabinet's heaviest hitters address their party. New conference darling Chris Grayling outlined Basher Burger